This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you this photo shoot that I recently did in Brooklyn. It had this really epic bookshelf in the studio and I thought it would be very interesting to do a lingerie photo shoot there and show you how I do it. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button so I don't miss any of my future uploads and let's get right into the video. <laughs> Whenever I shoot not by the beach, I always try and find interesting studios to work in. As you guys know, I am not really a white background kind of person. I love to have colors and texture in my work, especially because I work mostly with natural light. So when I came across this booking on Pure Space, I really, really loved it and I thought it was really cool. It had this beautiful bookshelf. Not to mention it was really reasonably priced. It was around $50 an hour, which I think is really, really good for New York. As you guys know, studios in New York can get really out of hand in terms of pricing, so I was very pleasantly surprised. This space also had really beautiful natural light. It was pretty direct and actually somewhere midway through the shoot, it got a bit too much. So I had to figure out how to work around it. But all in all, I just really, really enjoyed the space and the vibes that we got with my model. So this is a really cool perspective because I have, I'm framing here with the ladder in the shot. So it's really, really nice. Beautiful. Oh, the light here is so pretty. And we're shooting 1.4, oh sorry, 1.2 actually. It would be nice if your legs were kind of like a bit more like, I think this one, if it was more out. Yes, exactly, perfect. Love that. Yes. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Let me go closer. Oh. As you see, as we started shooting, the light started coming in pretty strong and all of a sudden it was pretty unusable. There was a lot of bounce on my model's face and it was very unflattering and very confusing for the camera and for the colors. So I ended up grabbing these two boards, which I think were supposed to be a changing room and basically blocked the light and it made a huge difference. It made this work much better and it just looked way more manageable. Yes. Yeah, I think if you're like a bit um, more sideways towards me, that's kind of nice. Not, not super sideways, but just a tiny bit. Yeah, with your butt, so it's like not super cracky towards yeah. me. As you guys see, the shoot was not super serious and it was very playful. I just wanted her to just sit around and read some books. So it happened, my model was a huge bookworm, so it definitely helped. She was really fascinated by all the books. So we got to play around, use it as props. We got her to stand on the ladder as well, which I thought was a really, really cool accessory to have in the library. <laughs> I think one thing that I struggled the most with this photo shoot was definitely the color balance of everything. I feel like when I came home, I struggled a lot with trying to make the colors look good. As you see yourself, the space itself was quite warm and very golden. And then, you know, because of the light, there was a lot of reflection on her face as well. And the light was bouncing all over the place. So it did make the color grading pretty difficult afterwards. However, the colors that I achieved, I was actually really happy with because I feel like they were balanced relatively well and now a word from my sponsor Squarespace is an all-one platform that will help you make your dream website portfolio or an online shop become a reality Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates so you will definitely find something that suits you and your personal style you can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. As we all know, social media presence is power and with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto post all your contents to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing. They help you with SEO as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons so your followers can give you some juicy shout outs on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash anita to receive 10 percent of your first purchase oh that's pretty actually can you have like your hands kind of like here above you yes that's beautiful beautiful and have yes i was about to say that let me 
see if we can actually, do you know what? Let me put this behind you. So it kind of like reflects a bit more. Yeah. Homemade reflector. So you can be, still be kind of facing away from me as you did, but I just want to have like a oh, bit yeah. more light on your butt basically. Yes, beautiful. And just make sure that your um, face is not in the shadow. So I don't know if that's really pretty. Maybe, maybe scooch back a tiny bit. No, no, yeah, this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what if you're like, kind of like, yeah, it's beautiful. And then have more hair on the side, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. For our second look, we took some photos using the direct sunlight and it was a bit of a challenge just because we were shooting around 1.30 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which as you guys know is super harsh and it's not ideal for taking photos in direct sunlight. The shadows were very, very intense and they were covering a large part of my model. So we tried and played with different angles and I did get some shoots that I like. However, towards the end, I actually ended up coming back to the bookshelf where the light wasn't as strong just to get a few more shots of the second look. I'm gonna go down to two point one point. Oh yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Stay like that. I'm just gonna take it. Okay guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Mod. She's going to be linked in the description below. While we're here, I just wanted to pop in and mention that I just released my swimwear course where I'm covering A to Z of swimwear photography. So if that's something you want to check out, make sure you do. There's going to be a tiny little discount code in the description below. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.